Okay, now let's talk about the Content Aware Fill Tool. Uh, this actually doesn't live in the toolbar. It lives up here in the Edit menu. And if we go up to find it, you'll see that it's grayed out. And that's because we haven't yet made a selection. We need to make a selection before we can use the Content Aware Fill. It's actually a very old tool in Photoshop and pretty sophisticated. But in uh, the last two iterations, it's gone through a couple of uh, changes that have made it a little more sophisticated. So let's go ahead and select this shadow and instead of moving it and transforming it, in this case we're going to do a content aware fill. So let's see what happens. Now we see that it's available and we're going to go ahead and select it there. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. Let me explain it. So what this is doing is it's giving you a preview window of how it plans to content aware fill this area. It's also giving you um, this menu over here, which has a bunch of different things that I'll introduce you as we go. It's uh, going to, so it's, it's actually giving us the sampling area options are auto, rectangular, or custom, and right now it's doing auto. It's just sort of grabbing the areas automatically that it thinks will be good. Um, it's showing that sampling area. These are the areas that Photoshop is looking at to grab pixels from. Remember, Photoshop can't uh, make up pixels. It has to use other pixels. Um, and so this green area, which if I take that off, you'll see it goes away. This is just showing you which areas Photoshop is sampling or using in order to make that correction. And this is in the preview window, we see that. Okay, let's zoom in on this correction and see what we think, because I can already see that it's doing a, something pretty goofy. What it's doing is it's grabbed a bunch of these little tire tracks here and this little weed, and it's repeated it twice. And we, we really hate it when it does this kind of repetition. I think that's its worst offense, it's not too bad. Now, by the way, every time you choose this tool, it will uh, actually make a different choice, a different algorithm. And so it, sometimes it pays to actually do it a couple of times, see if it'll do it better, better the next time. This is eh, not so great. So how do I correct this? It's pretty easy. I look for the area that it's repeated, which is these two areas, and I just tell Photoshop not to use those. It's going to recalculate. Oh, but now it's using these areas. Okay, good. Because last time I did this, it did it perfectly the first time. So I'm saying, no, I don't want you to use those areas either. Let's see. So I just erase those out. And that is much better. Still a little bit mushy. I could do some improvements on it, but that's pretty acceptable. So we're going to go ahead, take a look at it and we're going to accept that. Now, notice that right now it's on the current layer. We don't want that. We actually want a new layer. This is basically making a touch-up layer. You can put it on a duplicate layer. I definitely prefer the new layer. You'll see it's very much like, exactly like a touch-up layer. And that fill, that correction now lives right there. So we can actually uh, do correct it and do all sorts of stuff to it if we need to. Okay, let's try a couple other places and see how well Photoshop does. I'm going to go ahead and grab this corner. I want to actually fill in, get rid of this tree and the wires and uh, fill it in with something else. I, I know we have lots of sky here, so it should work pretty well. Let's see. Let's see if Photoshop can get it right, right off the bat. Oh, well, Photoshop is fine, but I screwed up. Can you tell what I did? Okay, hopefully somebody's guessing. Uh, let's cancel out of here. I am on the background or on the touch-up layer, and there's really nothing that Photoshop can find to correct there. So I need to go back to the background layer. Go back to Content Aware Fill, and there we go, that's much better. Now that one, as I could have predicted, did pretty darn well right away. The only thing I notice is that it's actually repeated this cloud kind of literally. So I could go in and just 
so it's just repeated it so all I have to do is just take that cloud layer out just deselect that say don't choose that and very nice it puts in a nice clear blue sky now when we come down here I'm going to choose new layer again because remember I the current layer is the background layer so I'm going to go ahead and create another new layer and that's fine we have a layer that has the sky correction on it a layer that has the shadow correction and now we can go back to this now I actually should be able to work with this I should be able to oops deselect I'm going to do one more correction before I let you go and it's going to be a little bit more complicated so I'm going to go ahead and try to get rid of this sign oops let's see if I can do this I'm going to get rid of this funky shadow that's underneath it as well so I'm going to fill this whole area and hopefully it's going to do it very smartly I'm going to go up and do content aware fill now it's going to be confused but I'm going to go ahead and click on sample all layers and now we're back oh and actually it did a very very good job I'm kind of impressed let's take a look yep pretty good it's got some sort of strange little things there but I think rather than trying to figure out exactly what's going on over here what it's sampled that I want to take out I'd rather just leave that and maybe correct it with the clone tool okay so I'm going to put it out to uh, this one I because I worked on the current layer I'm going to go ahead and just put it onto that same layer so this one actually has both of those corrections this one has the sky and I'll deselect it's looking pretty good let's do one more and see if I can get some create some chaos and confusion um, we're gonna go ahead and select this telephone pole and with my luck it'll behave perfectly but that's okay and we'll do edit content aware fill and let's see how we do now not bad but there are a couple of funny things going on here let's just check so first of all I want to make sure yep that's good it did not erase the fence we didn't want to lose that fence post this looks pretty good that looks okay but up here you see this very odd little thing it grabbed a little bit of this wire over here it's a wire I might want to erase eventually so all I have to do to correct that is just take that out of the selection options and there we go okay so I can once again I can put it onto the current layer or I could put a new one I'll go ahead and put it onto the current layer because I know we're on a touch-up layer deselect and let's just take a look we take these two off that's where we started and this is where we ended took a number of different elements out of there and made it a more spare um, composition 